a big hole in the sun's atmosphere. And this means a minor G1 to moderate G2 geomagnetic storm is possible on April the 21st, when a fast-moving stream of solar wind is expected to hit Earth's magnetic field. The gaseous material is flowing from an unusual large coronal hole now facing Earth. A coronal hole, this is a dark, cooler and less dense region in the sun's corona that appears as a hole in extreme ultraviolet and soft X-ray images because its open magnetic field lines allow solar wind to escape more readily. Check this plasma out dropping off the sun. This is a mass of hot plasma, 10 times wider than planet Earth, and it just dropped off the edge of the sun. And this was recorded just last night on April the 18th. And this seems to be the result of an M4.4 class solar flare behind the sun's eastern limb. Something about the magnetic topology of the unseen blast site squirted the debris straight down an unusual direction for solar explosions. But this one will not hit planet Earth. Geoelectric voltages were more than 70 times normal in the Appalachian mountain range, North Minnesota and Northwestern Canada. Texas and other Western US states were relatively unscathed. Researchers continually track ground currents because in extreme cases they can cause power outages like the Great Quebec Blackout of March the 13th, 1989. This week's storm wasn't intense or long-lasting enough to bring down power grids, but NOAA's maps show where power stations are most vulnerable. Generally, geoelectric amplitudes are high over metamorphic rock, such as in the Appalachians and northern Minnesota. The sun is currently undergoing its solar maximum, the peak of its 11-year cycle, when it's more likely to experience heightened solar activity, possibly creating more northern lights on planet Earth. The northern lights were visible over the UK this week and are set to return this weekend. Geomagnetic activity spiked on Wednesday, opening the door for the return of the Borealis. Over this weekend, it is likely that Aurora Borealis will be visible by eye and camera from anywhere in the UK.